hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am going to make this tutorial short and comprehensive um, in today's video i am going to be showing you how to install sublime test editor on your android phone so before watching this video i previously made a video on how to install kali linux on android the video is shown at the top of your screen right now if you haven't watched that video if kali linux is not installed on your phone make sure you watch that video before proceeding to this one and without wasting much of your time let us get to the video Once Kali Linux and the GUI is installed on your Android phone, alright, on Tamox, the first thing you're going to do is update your terminal. Now, after updating your terminal with the apt update command, you're going to install a package called wget. You're going to do that with the command apt install wget. Now, after installing wget, you're going to launch your browser and I'm going to be pasting this link in the description below. So, you want to copy the GPG key for um, Linux on the Sublime Test Editor website. I'm going to be pasting this in the description below. So just get the link from the description. And I'm also going to be dropping the link in the comment section. You're going to copy that and you're going to paste it just like this, all right? On your terminal. Now you're going to paste the GPG key. Now after pasting the GPG key, then we're going to um, we're going to be installing this table version of Sublime Test Editor. So you're also going to copy the repository link, all right? So that is it. We'll, we'll copy that and you're going to paste it on your terminal also. Now that you've copied that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to update your terminal so that you know um, Sublime Test can update and be up to date with your system. Now, after updating your terminal again, we can now proceed to the installation of Sublime Test. Now, to install Sublime Test, you're just simply going to type the command apt install sublime iPhone text, all right. And that is going to install Sublime Test um, on your terminal now. You can now start your VNC server. As shown in the previous video, I used the server command to start my VNC server because it is a short a shortcut command I created by myself. You're going to see it in the previous video if you have watched it, and then you can connect to your GUI. Now, after connecting to your GUI, you're going to locate Sublime Test Editor in the development option of your app menu so you can just simply start it and start using it just like that it is the stable version of sublime test editor and all the features are available for you to use so um try this out and let me know what you feel in the comment section below and if you're getting any errors or there's any part of this video you don't get let me know in the comment section below and i'll answer you as soon as i can and this is the most important aspect once you're done working with your software always make sure you kill your vnc server okay don't let the VNC server disconnect by itself. You're going to have errors when you want to log in again. Kill your VNC server with the command VNC server dash Q1 and you're good to go. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.